we're enthusiasts, just like everybody else. We actually love what we do. We spent three days, about 800 miles, taking this truck through every type of off-road terrain, at least that I can imagine. Experience not only what it's like to put that equipment through that kind of torture test, but also what it's like when we returned from the trip. We have a background in industrial strength applications for warning, uh, both visual and audible. And from that background, when we created an off-road line, it was geared towards the people who need to rely on it every single day, potentially life and death situations. I think that the general public will find value in some of the innovations that we've come up with for these unique vehicles like wildland fire apparatus or government and defense side-by-sides, things like that. Like myself, this is, this is my personal truck and I have found that our solutions uh, can offer things that other manufacturers don't. It is the new uh, third generation Raptor. This one is upfitted with the uh, 37 inch tire performance package. So it was a great opportunity for us to be able to take something that another company who values engineering like Ford and really put this thing through its paces along with the uh, solutions that we make and really send it into some of the toughest terrain out there for off-road. Hey, good morning guys. My name is Sean McShea. I'm with Tomar Electronics here in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, today we're here at Fouts Motorsports here in Mesa, getting the Gen 3 Raptor ready for Baja. Starting at the front of the truck, you'll see that we went with an ADD Stealth Fighter bumper uh, to include our Tomar TRX angled 40 inch light bar, dual color. Uh, on the sides you'll see we have uh, flood optics, with 85 degree, and in the middle we have spot with 6.5 degree. The great thing about Tomar is that if you want to change your optics, all you got to do is get a hex key, plug out the module, put a new one back in, and you're good to go. Uh, we went with RPG when it comes to the tie rods and the upper control arms for increased stability and control. For the wheels, we went with Icon Rebound Pros. We're here at Fouts today for a full armor on the bottom to include the skid plate. Uh, this includes front protection and rear protection with the transfer case and shocks. The Gen 3 Raptor comes with five link suspension from the factory. However, we wanted to upgrade it for more stability with RPG, uh, front and lower rear links. And at the back of the truck, we did a ADD Stealth Fighter bumper with our Tomar TRX three inch amber pots. So we went into Baja with a three-man uh, crew. Uh, it was myself, I had a co-driver, Reed, uh, and then our videographer was there as well to kind of help us document the trip. Reed, as our co-driver, is experienced. He's raced the Baja 500. He's raced the Baja 1000. He helped me navigate the vehicle. Uh, he used the screens, the GPS that we had to give me ideas of what obstacles were coming up, what turns were like. His level of experience was really appreciated during this. It helped keep us safe, it helped keep the truck safe, uh, and we had a great time. 
uh, navigating, especially in racing, navigating is vital. I mean, you just you, you just need it to, to be successful. I was being a navigator for, for, for the driver so he could focus on uh, the road ahead. He didn't have to look at the map. I had to let, I let him know when there's uh, danger coming or, you know, different turns. You really, you go through every single kind of environment you can think of, everywhere from the, uh, the hard pack whoops to the four foot deep silt to water potentially. You're racing on the beach and uh, you're racing through town, even on the highways. It's, it's every, it's every uh, environment you could really imagine. The first day was the most challenging, I think, for us in the vehicle. A um, lot of whoops, big whoops. If you're going through all that dust and if someone's coming up on you behind you, uh, they gotta be able to see you, otherwise they're gonna collide with you. One of the solutions that was very exciting to a lot of people in Baja was our Rec Series chase lights. The REC series goes back over a decade. This was a light head that was designed for emergency vehicles. It has a very high-focused SAE compliance optic. It uses a hybrid total internal reflector collimator. This is an optic that goes over the LED. And this is designed to project light further. On an emergency vehicle, what this means is you can see these warning lights from a further distance. Well, now you apply that same concept to the back of an off-road vehicle, and now you get a light that is compact enough to virtually be mounted anywhere, but powerful enough to penetrate the dust that these things are picking up as they're at speed. You know, it's important when we're doing these runs, there's a lot of dust coming up, you know? And so, when there's dust, you can't see the vehicle in front of you. So, like, there's a big difference between like no lights and lights. I've got the Rec 16s from Tomar USA. I'm able to program them however I want, so I can blink in and out. There's actually several different settings that I can do. But what I like about them is, again, is they're not they're not super bright to where they're blinding to the person that's following me. They're just the right brightness to where it's actually attractive. It's attractive to follow my truck. When I see somebody that doesn't have chase lights, I'm like, you guys have to get chase lights because that way I can see you in front of me. And whether you're really close or really far, man, it's, it's, it's really a safety feature. The second day was a lot faster. We had the opportunity to really push the truck on that day. Less, less of the larger whoops. Uh, the terrain was any, wasn't any less challenging, just was different, challenging in a different way. We had the opportunity to drive down the coastline for several miles, which was incredible. So we actually lined up on the beach and put the trucks in sport mode and 4A and took off. And we were racing down the beach and it was, it was a blast. And then there was the third day, and just like the two days before it, unique in itself. We woke up to rain, rain overnight, which meant mud, completely different atmospheric conditions outside. And while we didn't experience kicking up the dust, now we had a whole other challenge. The nice thing about the Tomar light bar is we also can configure it to where we have spotlight and a floodlight and dual color uh, to avoid all those hazards. It was one thing for us to be able to go out and experience Baja, uh, but it was another thing to be able to say that we have the equipment to be able to do it as safe as we could. And at least from our perspective, see if we could break some of our own stuff. 
happy to say we did. The, the crew that, that hosted us, Expedition X Off-Road, uh, had everything laid out. So it was a great opportunity for us to spend you know, three days over 800 miles just living in the moment uh, and just experiencing a beautiful country. I, I love coming to Mexico in general, especially when you're doing this type of, of stuff because it really is, the, the locals love it. They, they really, for the most part, uh, the kids come running out, they love to see us. We had an opportunity earlier today where a kid was probably eight years old and he was just all about, he, was, he loved the truck, so we took the opportunity to uh, get him a, a seat inside the, the driver's seat of the, of the Raptor and so he could kind of see what it was like to be in the driver's seat of one of these cool trucks that, uh, that he sees all the time during the races, but he's probably never had that close of an experience with, so I'm sure we made it that, that guy's day. It makes you want to go back. It makes you want to experience this. It makes you want to, to interact more with the culture down there. This whole project really proved kind of what we were setting out to do, which was to, to help introduce it, to test it, and to experience it. And uh, I think we succeeded, and, and we're happy to share that now with, with everybody else.